Welcome back everybody to TechPress. In today's tutorial, let's take a look into how you can do some automation emails through your Shopify. So it's actually really simple. The very first thing you want to do is to go directly into your Shopify dashboard, focus into the left part and go into applications. Inside applications, I always like to look out for the keywords of the app or the tasks that needed to be founded. In this case, the email marketing or the automation. So usually what I do love to use is the MailChimp email marketing. So the MailChimp email marketing is going to be helping me to do much more than just automations into your email. If you don't have an account into MailChimp, I'm going to be leaving you guys a link down below in the description so you can get your account totally for free. So what I want to do is to sign into my account. So introducing MailChimp for Shopify. What you need to do is to go directly into Managed or Discover inside the Integration section. And what you want to do is to integrate your Shopify store inside MailChimp in order to drive some traffic. So I choose my Shopify account, I hit into Linked, and now I have continuing all my stuff already been added. As you can see, my Shopify has now been added automatically. So I just need to go directly into my applications, go into Mailchimp, and my account should be added automatically. And check it out here. I have the synced overview. I have the synced overview of the audience stats promo codes, tag mapper, tags and groups, settings, and much more. Usually what I do in order to make some automations into Shopify is to go directly into MailChimp. Usually into MailChimp, what I want to do is to go directly into Create. Here in Create, what I have to do is a lot of things to get started with. I do have regular emails to send to launch to a campaign. I have automations. Automations could be helping me to make some traffic and marketing to save my time and landing pages. So into the tutorial, let's focus into automations. Let's go into create the journey of the automations. Usually into the left part, we have the automations, we have the overview, the all the journey, pre-build and transaction email. Now, the overview of the automations is going to be helping you to figure out what are the elements that you can use, what are the pre-built journeys that you can do in order to get started with. Usually, Beginners don't use the build from scratch because there are a lot of things to understand in order to use some journeys here. So now, we are on a free plan so we can enjoy a preview of a pre-built customer's journey so then we can upgrade to launch the theme. But it's going to be helping you to find out how it's going to be looking uh, our scratching building journey before we create a new one. Let's say I wanted to create and recover abandoned cards when somebody entered my website and check it out all the elements that they wanted to buy, they added to the card, but then at the end of the day, for some reason, they just uh, desist. They just don't want to make the purchase. I wanted to do something. I wanted to make an automation for that. So let's go for recover abandoned cards. So this one is gonna be taking you now into the pre-built journey. So I'm gonna hit now into use this journey. I'm gonna hit now into continue. And as you can see, we have now customer's journey builder. Now here, as you can see, I have the select my store. I select my store, I click here, now let's go for store name, this one customer kind contains, let's go for any kind of products. So just wait like an hour or I get it now to start at the standing point. No, so when this happens, when a contact abandons the card in my store, what's going to be happening here is that I'm going to be creating a new email. This email is going to be abandoned card reminder series email number one. So. Here, I have from to the subject, you left something in your cart. Schedule every day as soon as possible. The tracking, to enable, to enable Google Analytics tracking, you can connect your Google Analytics if you wanted to. Now hit now into the sign your email by starting with a template. So I select my template. And here I just have my content here. So I can always go into got it, forgot something. It looks like you left great items into your cart. So as you can see, I can just use this to save and return to the journey of how it's going to be looking my product. So now you have like an idea of how this automation works. Let's do this directly from scratch because if I use this point of view, I needed to upgrade my account in order to continue. And since we don't have only the free plan available, we are not able to use this template, but we now know how can we get started with the template into the automation so let's go back i'm going to go back once again and now let's focus into automations all the journeys and build from scratch inside the build from scratch we now know how the section of the campaigns work 
Let's go here into the name and let's go for abandoned card. And here into start building. Inside this start building, let's go into choose this starting point. So now I have the power of the bosons, for example. Let's go into abandoned cards, select a store, select any product, and the starting point is now being added. Now a journey point is to get started with an action email. So here I have send email. I choose the send email and we have exactly the same thing here. So usually the free version is not that bad actually. So you just need to figure out how does the actual MailChimp works with different tools that can be helping us to check it out like the preview. And then later on you can implement that through your own store. So I send the email and I wait for trigger. And here into the trigger, let's go for send an email email campaign, abandoned card, hit into save, and lastly, I have this at a journey point. And that is it. After that, I'm going to hit now into upgrade and continue and choose the element that can help me to make the automation. In this case, I believe this one is not available for free so far. So choose maybe like the essential plan, upgrade, continue, and your automations should now be successfully completed. Once an automation is going to be triggered or activated, you want to go back into automations, overview, and your journeys should be added in here. The best tool that now that you have a premium or a basic plan is that you're now able to use whatever pre-built journeys you wanted to, and you could be saving a lot of time. So this is how, guys, we can do some automations inside Shopify. There are a few versions that are totally for free outside MailChimp, but you wanted to find that out directly into applications. I'm going to go once again into automations, and this one should be bringing you into the App Store. Uh, Shopify so you can go for Shopify flow you can go into Meza you can go into react flow so just try to look out for an application that has really great reviews and a really strong qualification in order to add this directly into your store so with that being said guys we have not reached the very end of the video but don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to find out more amazing tools for Shopify and of course totally free apps thank you so much for watching the video guys hopefully guys we can all see you next time